for as long as I've been producing video, it's really bugged me that the shots that I get from my phone just didn't live up to my standards. Don't get me wrong, the stuff I was getting was decent, but it just didn't have that cinematic look and feel I was going for. So I scoured the internet for all the tips, tricks, and tutorials that I can find, and there are some really amazing things you can do with just a smartphone camera. So here are some of my favorite tips. We've all seen the shot on iPhone campaigns or movies and shows like Tangerine and Unsane that were famously filmed on smartphones, and it's really difficult to wrap your head around how these were actually shot with nothing but a smartphone. But still, those videos are inspiring, so let's run through a few techniques that I've picked up to help you start shooting better videos with whatever smartphone you have in your pocket right now. For this video, I will be shooting with my own personal phone, which is a Google Pixel 3a. And while that's not a bad phone by any means, it's certainly not flagship level quality. So what I'm trying to say is that if I can shoot this with what is essentially a budget phone, so can you. The first step to taking your footage to the next level is to lock your exposure, focus, and white balance. You can do this in your camera app by pressing and holding on the screen over whatever subject you are trying to focus on, or alternatively, for more control, you can use a third-party camera app like Manual Camera or Filmic Pro. Now, let's talk about those third-party camera apps, because I think they're really important for taking your videos to the next level. Personally, I like to use Filmic Pro because I feel it gives you the most control over your phone's camera and also produces the highest quality video output. For a more in-depth tutorial of the Filmic Pro app, check out this comprehensive walkthrough by Justin Brown of Primal Video. I'll put a link down in the description to it. Using the app will also allow you to record at higher bit rates. This allows for more information in each shot and will just give you more flexibility when you're trying to edit your footage later. In Filmic Pro, I recommend using the highest video quality settings, but be aware that this will create larger files and thus take up more space on your phone much faster. A good rule of thumb for shooting more cinematic video is to always use the 180 degree shutter rule. This essentially means that you're doubling your shutter speed for whatever frame rate you're shooting at. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, your shutter speed should be 1 48th of a second. Now, this may seem kind of obvious, but you should probably be shooting horizontal video if you want to get more cinematic footage. Unless you're shooting for a vertical format like Instagram TV or TikTok, horizontal's the way to go. Here's another tip that might seem kind of obvious, but is essential. Do not use your phone's digital zoom. It does not work like an optical lens on a normal camera and will massively degrade the quality of the video that you're shooting. Instead, just get closer to your subject or opt for a third party lens like one of the moment lenses. I highly recommend checking out moment lenses. They make tons of great products, many of which I've used before for my own photos and videos. And while you're at it, check out their YouTube channel. They post tons of videos and tutorials showing how to use their products and how to take your photography and video game to the next level. And my final tip is if you're shooting handheld video, make sure you're using smooth, steady movements. Nobody wants a shaky shot, panning all over the place, making anyone who views your video motion sick. Alternatively, you can use a tripod with a phone clip like I'm using here, or you can get a gimbal like the DJI Osmo Mobile to really give your shots a little extra stability. Now that we've made it through all the tips, let's put it all together, and here are a few examples that I shot entirely with my Google Pixel 3a. All right, so there you have it. I hope these tips can help you start shooting better videos with your smartphone. Be sure to let us know if you think I missed anything or if you'd like to see more how-to videos like this one. For now, I'm Riley Young with Digital Trends and we'll see you in the next one.